Well, days after that mass shooting, city leaders introduced legislation that would change the way downtown businesses handle security at night. Neil Fisher reports on a controversial new idea that's likely to get a lot of attention from local business owners. The call for an increase in security looms over downtown Cleveland. These criminals and these individuals who think shooting at somebody and just a gun is always the solution to the problem, they don't run the city. Legislation introduced by Cleveland City Council member Richard Starr would require businesses who operate between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. to increase security. Some of those parameters is increasing armed security who has to be certified with Class A or Class C license certification, but then also having these business owners be in, 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 in partnership and collaboration with the city to register their cameras that they're going to be required from the interior and exterior. Starr told 3 News the legislation may be amended, but hopes business owners step up to offer their ideas. We're talking about ethics and we're talking about doing something about safety in our city and it takes all ideas at the table for us to address this issue. One idea comes from Destination Cleveland CEO David Gilbert to light up the night. Everybody has to play a role and we feel that that better lighting after dark is a big role that we can help play to bring more people in, make more people feel safe and and help to address that issue. Gilbert and Destination Cleveland will spend seven million dollars to illuminate Cleveland and hopes visitors will follow the light. We need them to see the best of Cleveland and that's not just during the day. For 3 News, I'm Neil Fisher. So Gilbert's plan includes lighting up Public Square and along Euclid to Playhouse Square within the next year. In the meantime, Cleveland City Council is in recess, so that means unless there's a special hearing, they'll discuss this legislation in mid-August.